It only lasted for five model years and was eclipsed by models made by such other British brands as MG, Triumph, Austin Healey and Jaguar. It's the Daimler SP250. Just one of those cars, you either love them or hate them as far as their looks go. But uh, yeah, that's what drew me to the car. Al Warner of Bloomfield, Connecticut bought his 1960 SP250 through an online auction a year or two ago. I threw out a bid and didn't think uh, anything of it. And then I find out that I, uh, I was the winning bidder. And then I had to work out how to get the car out of, um, out of British Columbia, Canada. Warner grew up in Devon, England and has an eight-car collection that includes two MGs from the 1930s. It's the Daimler that stands out. Remember growing up, these little cars darting around because a lot of the uh, English sports cars have the uh, little four-cylinder engines, you know, anything from 850, maybe up to 1800, but this has the uh, two and a half liter V8. And the police also had them briefly in the UK as well. So it's a little bit before my time, but I do remember them darting around the lanes. The Daimler SP250 was only built for five years, 1959 through 1964. It was originally called the Daimler Dart, but the name was quickly changed because Chrysler had trademarked the name for a Dodge model. Only 2,654 examples were ever built, and when Jaguar bought the company shortly after the model debuted, the handwriting was quickly on the wall for the SP250. They were more tailored to the American market, hence the V8. Um, and they came, at, they came at, I think their timing was just off. So you can imagine the Jaguar XKE came in, Jaguar bought Daimler, became part of the group in 1960. So I think its short lifespan was the focus on the XKE, you know, once it became part of the Jaguar group in 1960, because you wouldn't want to have this uh, competing with an XKE for the American market and even the British market. Warner's SP250 gets noticed when he takes it to car shows. The brand badge above the grill draws eyeballs, and the word England confuses some folks who think it came from the company that introduced the Mercedes. They zoom in on the, the front, and they can see that it's made in England. So the first question is typically, I thought it was German, um, if they read the Daimler logo. Uh, but of course, that isn't the case. Warner drives the quirky looking Daimler, but he's still working on it too. It's nice and talky. Daimler were famous for its limousines. So, uh, you know, they had a raw warrant till about 1950. So you can imagine that they were more of a cruising luxury vehicle, good ride. And this is the same. This is a talky little engine. So it's never, you're not going to be able to rev the guts out of it, but it's smooth in its delivery. And you either love or you hate it. I think people love it now as a cult following because of its quirky look. That's Ride Connecticut. I'm Bud Wilkinson. And please subscribe to Ride Connecticut's YouTube channel.